so today's video is a continuation of yesterday's video so um, there are going to be a lot more videos in the series this is the how to not get cheated while buying classic bike series um, if you have not already subscribed to the channel I would request you to please do so because uh, it would be a great help for the channel if we could uh, you know get more subscribers and also increase the reach of these videos to various people which can help them from not getting scammed on sites such as OLX so um, with that uh, I'm going to tell you a small story okay this story is a mentality that most of us have in us and because of which the chance of us getting cheated goes way higher so um, I had this friend who called me on a Friday night pretty drunk uh, and he said that um, he has a dying wish of course he was not dying but then you know he made it sound very dramatic and to make it sound as if you know this is his last wish he said that I have a dying wish and I would like to own an RD350 so I said it is not difficult I can definitely help you get one so I asked him what is your budget so he said uh, it is as low as possible uh, so what I did is I took him to a workshop where I knew uh, there are bikes available this is way back in 2010-11 so you know if somebody sends me a message asking me for a bike at the same price now I'm sure you know what my reply is gonna be so kindly don't reach out to me saying that I also want a bike so coming back to the story I took him to the shop uh, there was this decent looking bike which had no paperwork but uh, it was running it was reasonably decent looking somebody had gone ahead and restored it and then uh, once the paper couldn't be fixed they kind of abandoned the project so my friend got really excited he asked uh, the mechanic on how much this bike was so the mechanic reasonably quoted a price he said the bike was available for 50k uh, so I was like yeah that's a decent price but immediately my friend gets little over smart and he tells the mechanic uh, that I can pay you 10k right away so that was a really stupid thing to do because you know that's not how you talk to somebody so I got really offended I took him to a side and I asked him dude what the hell you know why are you quoting him 10,000 it's not a samurai or a max 100 that you are buying this is an RD350 so he said uh, in the year 2010 I mean in the year 2001 and between 97 to 2001 he has gone ahead and um, personally seen bike selling for less than 10k so that is the first problem people don't realize that it is 2020 now and prices have gone up ever since so there is no point looking for a bike at that price so what I'm going to do is how you actually uh, how people actually trap such people is what I'm going to show you so I've gone ahead and searched on Google for scrap RD and as you can see there are a lot of scrap RDs the one that I've selected is mine before it was restored so I do see a lot of my bike pictures on social media and I see them for sale I see memes being made on these bikes so this is the most common image that I've seen uh, on um, for sale pics because it shows that it's an RD it's a dirty RD it's a survivor bike standing there for a very long time so people do fall for the, all that so um, what I recommend is like I said yesterday do a reverse image search and um, I have also gone ahead and created a thread on team BHP so you can read it but the negative of this thread is I have documented it so well that a scammer can actually take these pictures and can also go to an extent and say that you know this bike 
has been shipped he can send these pictures as proof so but the thing is fearing the scammers we cannot go ahead and you know stop doing what we are doing or stop doing what we are passionate about so like i said do your due diligence um read the thread really well and you know google the images so you will get some image related to it so as you can see these are images of the bikes before it is washed and then there are pictures below on how i found it this is before washing this is after washing so these are images which can probably you know put somebody into confidence that they are actually buying a bike this is me dismantling the bike also some people can just show the pictures of these parts and then they can um say that they are selling parts so that can also happen so be careful do your due diligence um uh, so i'll talk more about this so like i mentioned the scammers are getting intelligent and intelligent they do not use these pictures of google image anymore they look at instagram um they you know look at facebook news feeds so what you have to do is you have to make sure that uh you know you check almost all places and make sure that uh, the images that you are presented with are genuine so um that is about that um another very uh, common thing to do is you know people try to you know be quick flippers so what they usually do is um let's say you have posted an ad they come to you they talk to you and they tell you that how the bike which you have posted uh, is their dream bike and how they would like to uh, own it and uh, you know take more information from you more pictures from you so once you do all that uh, they post these pictures on uh, you know olx and facebook so the problem with a seller is usually he doesn't look for um, other listings so there are very less number of people who will get rid of an rx 135 to buy another rx 135 which you know they are planning to buy on olx or something so um, people usually don't search so most likely now what happens is this person has more information than what you have posted on your ad so this ad would look more convincing and he would you know mark up some price so i have seen a lot of these ads like multiple ads for the same motorcycle with slight difference so people do that and the only challenge is uh, sometimes the seller might not update his uh, ad immediately after the sale and so what happens is uh, this guy also goes ahead and takes an advance from people so now the challenge is this guy has already taken an advance and because of which uh, uh the problem is he now knows that without uh, even owning a bike he can make a sale you know and he can take some advance and he can run away so that is the origin story of a scammer so i am going to show you something which is a very common practice so uh you know most of these scammers don't even have their own images so they use images from somebody else and then they post a picture so you know it's a first thing let's say if they have something for sale why would they not post actual images of the, that so that means either the item doesn't exist or the item quality is not as they try to describe it so i i'm going to show you a picture of uh, one of the shogun restoration that i did some time back and during that shogun restoration i painted this tank and side panels so these if they are original they get sold pretty fast you know like because most of the guys who want to come uh, you know convert their samurais to shogun look for these parts people who are you know buying um extra parts for the shogun's look for these parts so this ad has been there for a very long time so if it is still there that would simply mean that 
this guy has not uh, got enough money uh, from scamming people so the challenge is once the uh, scam person looks at this image and finds out its original source so let's say later on he comes to my um, you know team bhp article and sees these images he might suspect that i am the scammer okay so that can also happen so these guys these low lives these scammers can actually go ahead and tarnish your image as well you know even if you are not connected to them with any um, I mean so make sure you put uh, maximum number of uh, watermarks on your public images so these images which i have put are pretty old so there is no way that i can go ahead and do that but the images on team bhp already has a watermark at the bottom but this smart guy has gone ahead and removed that section of the image and he has only taken that so another thing is you know when we passionate people document our restoration with such details people can go ahead and take these images and make their own and say that i was restoring my bike these are the various stages and now i am selling it you know because i've run out of money they will make some soap, soap story they will you know it's usually how convincing the story is is what is important so that is another reason why i started creating videos instead of images so like i said uh, you know there is a lot that can be said about these things uh, there is a lot that is already out there um, under various places so i will also go ahead and list my team bhp article that i have written on how not to get scammed and once all that is done please make sure that you go through all that and ensure that you don't get scammed by these low lives so there are more videos coming in this series and there are close to 150 videos in the channel so if you have watched this video chances are you might like the other videos as well so i sincerely request you to consider subscribing um, also share it with your friends so that they don't get scammed um, so you know i i would really appreciate if you can help us grow a little bit more by sharing the videos liking the videos put your comments and let us know um what do you think about it so this is another one um, wherein he says it's a kerala registration but as you can see you can see the mizoram registration on it so if it's a kerala registration he should have posted pictures with the kerala registration numbers so this is how people pull out scams um, be very careful uh, let's say if i am selling my bike i will make sure that all the details are available i won't post images with no number plates or i won't post images in such a way that it is not convincing you know probably number plate is something that i might try to mask like what this guy has done but you know i'll try to have as much details as possible and try to understand that these uh, rds which are uh, rd engines which are shown into a cvc chassis is not going to be a good idea it's going to turn into a money pit and you are going to lose a lot of money so having said that um, understand what you need to do do your due diligence if you see something don't just jump at it expensive is not always the best say for example yesterday i saw an ad for a us spec rd350 gearbox which was um, posted for an asking price of 97000 rupees and the seller has mentioned that he has had this for 13 years so you know i i don't think 13 years ago he might have bought it for like the amount he is quoting and the money doesn't appreciate let's say even today rd350 gearboxes in us are available under 100 dollars so let's say if he has paid 100 dollars 13 years ago that's a 13 100% <laughs> you know jump in uh, appreciation that doesn't happen usually so do your due diligence understand what the asking price is people might ask for the moon and star but you know actual deals doesn't happen at that price unless and until you see a value there is no point buying anything so 
i hope the video was able to you know bring some light to the you know scams and situations which are around us passionate bikers so next video i will also do about um, you know parts and how markups on parts happen so i hope you enjoyed the video so thanks a lot bye bye